he had uh, earlier this year against the Gamecocks? No, we pitched him on Tuesday against Middle Tennessee State. And really, the options that we have right now are, are probably few in terms of starting pitching. So uh, felt like that right now we need to keep it on point, let him go. And you know, this time of year, you got to find three and four starters anyway if, you, if you're going to play any further than your regular season. So we felt it's a good option for us. Uh, you, you feel like he's pretty confident going against the Gamecocks with, with his past success? I don't, I don't think the past success. With, with these guys, I don't think they get rid of past successes really quick. I mean, they, it, it take, the confidence goes along with it, but no, they, it, bad or good, they, they they'll leave that crap behind. It, it ain't going to take them very far, so uh, no, it's gone. We are you're obviously pretty familiar with South Carolina. Just what are your thoughts? They've kind of been struggling the latter half of the season. Like. There's no such thing as struggle. That struggle's history. And when you get into this situation, it's, it's completely new. So I don't care who comes into this tournament. There's no such thing as struggle. You, you, struggle's history. Stats are history. It's just a matter of what you can do today. Is that kind of your message to your team every year because y'all play so well out here each year? Or what's... How, how do y'all kind of approach coming into this tournament? Oh, well, we just enjoy it. I mean, I, you know, I know we've played well in the past, but again, that's the past, and it doesn't have anything to do with this team. But I, I, you know, it's a luxury item. You, you know, you guys are down here, and the media follows it. I mean, look at the place; they've spent tons of money on it, and there's just a, a lot to do about it. What, what I like about it most, and I told the kids this, is that it's in the same place every year. And you know, a lot of conferences change their tournament and go different places, and. The people of Hoover have made these kids feel special every year. And I've been here 15 years. I don't take it for granted. First year we were here, we really had to do something. Carolina beat us and Auburn beat us. And really, that, that took us out of a regional situation. But I, I think after that point right there, we made this kind of a special thing on our schedule. You mentioned that. Do you, you feel like there's an added pressure when your team feels like it's playing for their NCAA tournament lives like South Carolina kind of is? Or do you have to kind of block that out? I think as an athlete, you have to block everything out outside of what you're doing at the moment. And you know, those, those things are sidebars, really the, the things you can control are what's inside your head and what's swimming around in your head and it's really what DVD you put in your mind and that's the message that's going to play out most times. And I think with our kids, it's just very simple. I mean, every day is an opportunity to, it's like opening day for us. So, uh, you know, for us, you know, we try to keep it simple. What are your thoughts on South Carolina team, and what do you remember about that series earlier this season? I remember being really good. I mean, I, to me, they're they're scary. I mean, they got a lot of good hitters, a lot of good players. Uh, you know, I enjoy playing at, at your place. I mean, it's a lot of fun. My daughter went there. We got relatives there. It's you know, it's 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 great, great atmosphere and great team. So. I, you know, when I look at Carolina, I, I look at Carolina, what they can do. I don't look at any team and think what they can't do. I always look at what they're capable of doing, and they're capable of doing a lot of damage.